Don't flop all fucking day, you know the score is uh here in the building, hosting shouts to Bam, hosting shouts to Briggsy, hosting shouts to everybody else with me in the building, shouts to the team, shouts to the battlers. We're here on day number two, one of the other main events of a fucking awesome weekend, 32 UK versus UK battles. If you want to see these events again, please make sure you watch the battles, share them, all that shit. Alright, we're gonna get to a promo battle, no judges, three rounds, two minutes on the clock for both MCs, so let us know in the comment section who you want to win. Two minutes, 90 seconds, I don't know, oh. fuck, whatever. Okay. 15 seconds if you agree, I don't really know. Alright, so we're we'll getting to the Clash right about now, don'tflopshop.com uh, don't is now reopened as well. Make sure you cop the new merch from there. Thanks to everybody who's got it in the event. All right, MC on my right hand side, make some noise for Soul Jitsu. Let's go! Okay. Yeah. And MC on my left hand side, make some noise for Hawaiian. Let's go! Yeah. All right, three rounds on the clock. Hawaiian's up first. Let's do this. All Let's right. go. Hawaiian's back on Don't Flop. <laughs> I took hiatus, but now I broke that spell. I got Soul Jitsu into prep for this. I nearly had to phone for help because I was struggling for angles. Till I researched you on my phone and well, when I found out you're part of a crew called Constantly Getting Money. <laughs> <laughs> Round one pretty much wrote itself. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to be like you, bruv. This shit's depressing me, honestly. Because I only get money. But you, you're getting it constantly. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you win the jackpot every time you enter the lottery and you get hotels on Park End and Mayfair during every single family session when I, when I bet for the time it takes for me to turn my back, this guy would already have earned five stacks. <laughs> But the other members in CGM are called Homicide and Illegal. <laughs> and boy are they stackers. But the freak with thought brought them up. You were pointing like they were going to spray hammers, so what's going to happen if I diss them? Guess they're going to leave my brain splattered, so Homicide and Illegal, you're both really great rappers. <laughs> in, the video, in the video for your Blocker remix, we see the CGM team get blazed, passing round some leafy haze till they're as lean as the Tower of Pisa state, because they're constantly getting money. You want an example of how much pee they make? In that video, 25 of his goons managed to afford one bottle of E&J. <laughs> One bottle of E&J. You must have got extremely waved. <laughs> Jesus, mate. I'm just glad that you're still here today. <laughs> but with shit like that, your crew's name's mind-boggling soul, CGM. I'm just surprised this guy's not on the dole because those cheap spirits tell me your life's not in control, but I'm a free spirit, so I don't mind body and soul. Mm. On that remix, you actually said, they call me for Bobby and Charlie and Mandy and Harry. Now that was truly panicking, because I don't know who Bobby, Charlie, Mandy and Harry are, but I could never condone human trafficking. <laughs> They call me for Bob and Charlie and Mandy and Harry and Baby. <laughs> I bet all the drugs that you're selling are lethal and turning these things into skeletons. But rapping like that on the track is bait and supplying the police with evidence. And if you still flow like that in your songs, then wake up, you're not American. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're after a golden ticket to be promoting your craft and bar schemes, but you have the role of Grandpa Joe. You keep opening bars with Charlie. Because when it comes to CGM, my sarcasm has aged because that money talks to fast now your bar's shackled in chains because in Don't Flop, you aren't that hard man you portray only with CGM, it's that hard act that you play it's like you've auto-tuned all your tunes because in the sparse tracks you create you change your tone for notes that you can't actually make mm. That's fine. Well, well, let's go, let's go. Want to hear some bars? No, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to <laughs> prepping, prepping for this battle? I watch my own battles. <laughs> I made a few observations. What I realise whenever I'm battling, no matter who I'm battling, I'm always complaining. So now I'm at sunburn too, with Juan. Would that stop the hating? Nah. This ain't even gonna sound like a battle, so just with one, it's gonna sound like two dudes having a normal conversation. 
We got similar styles. People get confused, say he's my nemesis, but he ain't leveling, so he will never win. Anyone who said that he would get the win in Juan's own words, please leave the premises. <laughs> Juan, say leave the premises. He can't, because he's speech impediment. <laughs> he needs a therapist, a speaking specialist, so when he spits his bars, I can say, yeah, he said everything. <laughs> but Juan literally can't say everything. <laughs> he speaks funny. <laughs> Like, oh, wait, wait, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, he speaks funny, I know why, I figured it out. It's because his tongue and teeth are too big for his mouth. He, he uses dry humour to try and confuse us into thinking that he's sick for his age, but that's just crowds going crazy over basic bars. It's like lethal bizzles on stage. <laughs> but, he said, but he thinks he's sick. Come on, allow me. All the predictions said he was going to win. Juan would clown me. There's one thing they could say about him, and not about me. He's only had one clear win. So this bitch has got you guys gassed from one match like Ronda Rousey. I really don't think you know who you're rapping with, Juan. I've been that goon rapping that dark before Pamphlet was rapping it dark. You could get a couple, maybe even double that, indescribable pleasure when it pops. The strap's like bubble wrap. He said that. He meant that. That's the difference between you and I. You find it hard to slew a guy and I kill him all with one punch. That's a mass suicide. <laughs> And for everyone who says I don't finish my round strong, I've got three rounds for you. You're not wrong. <laughs> when Uno accepted to battle me, man, that was a great day. <laughs> An international bet willing to battle Juan on his A game. When you accepted this battle, I was feeling the same way. Till I remembered that you'd also battled Michael White and HK. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to battle HK? I uh, said that. And he meant that. <laughs> you saw that and said yes, fam. <laughs> <laughs> and though you didn't turn that battle down, you yes. chose to accept that. <laughs> Who wants to battle me before checkpoint? Michael White said that, <laughs> and he meant that. <laughs> Don't flop saw that, then went to their yes man. <laughs> you said yes man, and you then clashed. The end result, 10 minutes of my life that I'm not gonna get back. <laughs> You'll battle anyone. It's got to the point where Irvin Bam put your name on the flyer before you've even confirmed the clash. <laughs> I bet when you're planning your wedding, you'll be happy yet anxious. If she suggests the 28, you quickly dash to your planner. You find the 28, then say, hang on, you slapper. <laughs> you find the 28, then say, hang on, you slapper. Why would I marry you over a training day's battle with Akers? <laughs> Don't flop loves you. I mean, start to think your flows are tight. Because if anyone's shit needs an opponent, you're their go-to guy. <laughs> Scratch that. If you're in your 20s and have loads of time to write for people like HK and troll their lives, not even for any money, but for your own delight, your aspirations must be pretty fucking low in life. <laughs> but then again, your whole gimmick is that you get your bars written last minute, a couple days before you're clashing a kid. Like, I know. How about when I'm rapping all this? I told the fans I wrote it yesterday with a casual grin, then no one's gonna realise I'm actually shit. <laughs> best ability. It's not as if prepping is so stressful or keep those bars in private because you'll get eaten for thinking that no prep school. Wait, mm. private? Eaten? No prep school? <laughs> Fuck me, I'm sick of battling. <laughs> No prep school? Fuck me, I'm sick of battling. But I'll stop that scheme right there before it gets too harrowing. <laughs> now that's how you rap. It's bad bars, you parody them. But if it's bars and jokes, Juan's got a natural blend. You've only got jokes. I researched this man on the web and bing, he'll need you for the laughs like Janice and Friends. Mm. Cause that satire won't prove a challenge against someone who's satire on the cars of these battle events. Since I'm the reason that you're even here to rap this weekend, you're getting sent back to those warm-up party battles again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the cringiest flip. Might as well get it done. He said I'll battle anyone. Anyone. <laughs> A 
especially Bamelan. I'm gonna kill this prick today in two weeks. I'm, I'm gonna kill 100 bullets in Amsterdam. That's a big battle, isn't it? Mm? You know. Mm? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> if you don't get if you don't get any of Hans bars, all you need to do is watch TV. <laughs> There's gonna be more than TV references for you to beat me in every fucking battle. If it's not the office, it's another show. Jake can see easy rhymes. Your lyric book is basically the TV guide. <laughs> kill the cunt in front of you in battle rap. That's the meaning. No one wants to hear about Gareth Keenan's plans this evening. <laughs> Listen, you need to start making sense. Stop focusing on David Brent and start to rap about Jake instead. Yeah. We, we all do TV references, but no one will mention mine. But it's cool. Jake's still my dog. Adventure time. <laughs> now, let me tell you a story all about how my life got <laughs> I'm about, look. I, used be, I used to be a troublemaker. I'm no longer in trouble like my wife and kids, but I can still get dark and light him up like season five's Aunt Viv. <laughs> Listen, I used to do all that shit that these rappers say they do. I was the skunk man chasing cats. Pepe left you. <laughs> I'm doing your style all through this round. I'll kick down the door to your house like that one guy in that one show everyone's talking about. <laughs> I've stretched his skin. Yes. I've stretched his skin. Oh shit. So like one guy in that one show everyone's talking about. I stretched his skin, but I got it all covered just to show you that he ain't sick. He's just playing sick like Soul's brother. They put the street rapper against the nerd. Because battle rap loved that. Mm -hmm. It's true. Plot twist, in this battle, the street rapper, it's you. <laughs> well, I'm obviously joking, Juan's a wanker. Him, <laughs> him and Rob Wilson, the only guys to make Callum Martin look gangster. <laughs> they tried to stick it on him. He stood there looking in both of your faces because two guys screaming with speech impediment ain't really intimidating. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Intimidating. Two Say guys are speech huh? Say more food. I will, later. <laughs> Ain't intimidating. Look, if that was me, I would have made you slap each other. Who wants to hear my first ma who wants to hear my first mum joke? Yeah. Yeah. I shagged your mother. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go, Juan. Rumour has it, you can't bring your goons to events. Because <laughs> if they did turn up, they might just start using a skeng. <laughs> Real fucking skeng. Real fucking skeng, man. In this <laughs> well, I can relate to you, bro. I also can't bring my goons to events. They've got A-level coursework to do a week. <laughs> Because on your tunes, you say you're cannon squeezing, catching pee from bags you're dealing, living life like an action scene with Asher D and Adam Deacon, but here, you're a happy being. We cannot see those gags of features, and it raises questions about Soldier like an office quiz with Gareth Keane. <laughs> Because you used to seriously rap about how you click and blast tools. But when you do that shit here, we give a little laugh because we know it isn't harmful. Because those gun lines, suddenly you knew we disregard for, so you went mainstream through tongue and cheek like Dizzy Rascal. Nice. Very good. But if at any point in this bout today, you interrupt my rounds with Juan Mill or Juan Tanamo Bay, <laughs> you're heading for a big fat Juan bang in your face. <laughs> Blips, say whatever, but your real name's Dwayne Michael. You sound like every single basketball player ever. <laughs> <laughs> so if I lose Michael, I'm gonna lose my cool. <laughs> Best believe I've got name flips to ruin this sneak. Because if human anatomy is anything to go by, soul should already be used to defeat. <laughs> Six.
Name flips too. Like what? Name flips? Like what? Name flips too. Your arms are on some bony shit. You'll probably diss me for being young. Well, that's some bony shit. Cause if I spit three rounds, I can't lose. I'm on my Tony shit. You're getting killed by a child soldier. I'm on my Coney shit. <laughs> Wilsey, your homie's sick. Because <laughs> it goes without saying that you rely on your brother. And until in two battles, he provides you with cover. Because Wilsey's the real talent, and this guy's a sucker. Just kidding, Wilsey, mate. You're both as shite as each other. <laughs> We saw you both front like you hated the stuff they were saying. Well, if that's the case, don't battle any more Liverpudly and racist. I was just as bad. You were just as bad in the rhymes you'd spit. You diss whites and then Asians for frying shit. Duke said you used cocoa butter. But in that battle, it didn't look like you did. Because they were... Duke said you used cocoa butter. But in that battle, it didn't look like you did. Because there was no substance applied to your lines on skin. <laughs> Battle, you called out me, Big J, Lefty, and Ovmios. But they can't be bothered to warn out. Well, the boy that cried wolf, getting no response for your call outs. You can't just name drop everyone in the hope they want to murk you, dude. But then again, I did accept this battle, so guess it kind of worked for you. <laughs> but if that's the case, prepare to get your life ruined, murder mook. <laughs> to get your life ruined, murder mook and DNA and K-Shine, me and my mate Rob need a word with you. I'm not gonna lie. Avenge me, bro. Avenge you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna, right, you try to get my power, yeah? Never get him involved. I've got one question for you. What are those? <laughs> Joke. I had it written onto my page. I said I fucked your mum. That's kind of fucked up, because she's probably underage. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that. I've got bars for days. You think I give a fuck if one's half my age, you get pardoned on stage, because I keep it real to these rappers like Charlemagne. Look, you need to stop your faggot shit. I'll give you a punch so accurate your head will flip harder than Callum did. <laughs> but he said he's going to give me the one bang. Who's this guy banging? I walk the walk and I talk the talk with my hands like sign language. Mm. Look, and if I miss you, Rob is getting caught. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if, if I miss him, Rob is getting caught. I take his head off with a bat like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> fuck the peace talk. I'll make the peace talk. Hey, listen, fuck the peace talk. I'll make the peace talk and him with his lips like, oh, can we peace talk? <laughs> They told me not to do gun bars, because he's a nerd white guy. I keep the strap hanging, like Max Sherry giving her a high five. <laughs> moving like Ogmios. <laughs> uh, listen, fuck all the bully shit, because this is don't flop. The place where the bullies get their comeuppance. For instance, right here, Villa vs Unanimous. 
But who's really the bully out of us? Because as I recall, you and Rob try to stick it on Callum, bruv. <laughs> so this is where all the bullying ends, Juan. <laughs> Man, we'll shoot you in your neck, one. What you gonna do if I show you no respect, one? <laughs> Poor Rob Wilson, he can't protect one. <laughs> you asked him how's it feel to give her a head, one? I don't know. But how's it feel to get a pocket, pocket check, check, one? <laughs> Basically, you're a pussy on. <laughs> Two nerds trying to gang up on a small kid, trying to play the bully role. This is why I've had enough of this don't flop shit. I need to put right. Everyone's a gangster. Everyone's Suge Knight. Two fucking nerds. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Two fucking nerds. What are those? Two nerds. <laughs> When I'm a real fucking skeng man trying to be a good guy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I well, fuck all this battle shit. Whether Juan wins, no, whether Juan loses, or Juan wins, you'll still be known as that guy who got pocket checked by Callum Martin. <laughs> Bottom fuck. So all that DE bullshit. When you were kids, with lines like that, you see me stressing. Because after this battle, Oh, he's our biggest fan. When I left it, I mean, seriously, like, he is our biggest fan. <laughs>